The 4B movement is not going to work in the United States of America. It now, to his credit, he has since changed his mind. But I like to think about 4B like this. Glow Recipe is a very popular K-beauty brand in the States, and it is my favorite skincare brand, like, ever. My top three products are the Avocado Ceramide Serum, um, the Ceramide Cleanser, and number one is this, the Glow Recipe HA BHA Pore Tightening Toner. This stuff is liquid gold. It's magical. When I put this stuff on the night before, my skin looks amazing in the morning and no other product has ever produced those kinds of results for me. This is an amazing brand. It's really caught on. Um, and they have a very famous origin story because the two founders, uh, two Korean women, went on Shark Tank and they asked for $425,000 in exchange for 10% of the company. And the offer they got was $425,000 in exchange for 25% of the company, which would have lowered the valuation. And they said, uh-uh, we'll go at it alone. And now they have a $300 million skincare brand. And Americans love this brand. K-Beauty, which is basically Korean skincare, right? Became popular in 2011, 2012. And it really picked up steam in the States around 2017, 2018. I discovered during the pandemic, but I usually discovered skincare trends um, 18 months to two years after they hit America. So about a five year gap, right? 4B. The 4B movement was created in 2019. 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24. It took about five years to get here. Let's take a look at all the K-Beauty products I have. Oh, look at that. Here's one right in my bathroom. Glow recipe. Got the beauty cart, see what else we got. Yes, I have a beauty cart. Let's see. Oh, look, more glow recipe. Boom, chapstick, glow recipe. Oh, look at that. Vitamin C. Ooh, these nice into my dew drops. These are awesome. Oh, look, more glow recipe. Here's that pink moisturizer. Hmm. This K Beauty brand is now $300 million business. This is interesting. Sales of K Beauty products in the US increased 26% between 2018 and 2019 reaching a whopping $494 million. In addition, the number of brands between 2015 and 2019 increased from 61 to 241. Interesting. K-Beauty is kind of a big deal. The third largest exporter of cosmetics in 2020, uh, third only to France and the United States. Now they say that K-Beauty routines are particularly attractive to Asian consumers and that North Americans struggle with the layering method. And then maybe, you know, Americans have a hard time catching on to the layering method. Yeah, uh, look at that. Uh, it seems like we're getting the hang. We're getting the hang of the layering thing. We're figuring it out. These are all videos in the past one or two years. So I think, I think, I think we can manage it, you know? I think so. Korea, y'all got some great ideas. Sometimes Americans were a little slow on the uptake, but we're here now, we're with you now, you know? Um, let's not focus on us being late to the party and embrace the idea that we showed up. Let's, yeah, let's do that.